ESR or erythrocyte sedimentation rate measures the distance red blood cells will fall along the length of a vertical tube over a given time period. Although it is a non-specific phenomenon, it is clinically used in certain chronic disorders, for example, rheumatoid arthritis or tuberculosis as an index of progress of the disease. ESR is the rate of fall of RBCs in diluted plasma and is influenced by a number of inter-reacting factors. Basically, it depends upon the difference in specific gravity between red cells and plasma, but the actual rate of fall is influenced very greatly by the extent to which the red cells form rule which sediment more rapidly than single cells. Other factors which affect sedimentation include the ratio of red cells to plasma, the plasma viscosity, the bore of the tube, equipment and reagents, Vestigren rack, Vestigren tubes with internal diameter of 2.5 mm. These can be disposable or made of glass. A glass tube is graded from 0 to 190, whereas a plastic tube which has a white collar at the lower end is graded from 0 to 170. These gradings may vary with the make of the tubes. Disposable tubes are preferred. Timer ESR vacutainers with black tops which contain 3.8% sodium citrate. Alternatively, tubes of minimum volume 2 milliliters can be used. In this case, one volume of 3.8% trisodium citrate solution is mixed with four volumes of blood. Preparation of 3.8% trisodium citrate solution. Mix 3.8 grams of anhydrase trisodium citrate with distilled water, making the total volume up to 100 milliliters. Keep the solution in the refrigerator. If the solution is cloudy or contains particulate matter, discard and prepare a fresh solution. Specimens Collect the sample within 6 hours of performing the test. Procedure Standard precautions should be followed. Collect 1.6 milliliters of blood by venipuncture in 3.8% sodium citrate vacutainer and mix the contents thoroughly by inverting the vial at least 6 times. Alternatively, measure exactly 0.4 milliliters of the 3.8% trisodium citrate solution with the help of a pipette or syringe into a clean and dry tube. Draw venous blood and immediately place 1.6 milliliters into the trisodium citrate solution. Note You can also use EDTA blood. If kept at 4 degrees centigrade, it can be used up to 24 hours. In this case, mix the EDTA blood well and place 1.6 milliliters into the trisodium citrate solution. Open the vacutainer gently. The sedimentation pipette is inserted into the tube right to the bottom of it. The mixture is thus forced upwards and due to the zeroing system, the column falls exactly to the 0 mm position. Place the tube with the pipette into the stand provided, maintaining the serial number of the samples. Set the timer for 1 hour. Exactly after 1 hour, note the level to which the red cell column has fallen. Report the result in terms of millimeters at the end of R. After a series has been read, tubes and pipettes are disposed of intact as per waste disposal guidelines. Results and interpretation The reference ranges of ESR for males and females are as follows. In childhood and adolescence, the ESR is the same as for men below 50 years with no difference between boys and girls. 
Remember the following to avoid errors while performing the test. Specimen used for testing should not be more than 6 hours old after collection. Blood and EDTA tubes can be used for up to 24 hours after collection, provided that it is kept at 4 degrees centigrade. Use correct type and proportion of anticoagulant. Incorrect type of anticoagulant such as calcium oxalate can cause shrinkage of RBCs and decrease sedimentation. Only perform tests on non-hemolyzed samples. Use sterile sedimentation tubes. Keep the tubes upright during sedimentation and check for air bubbles. Repeat test if air bubbles are present. Take care that the test is not performed near a heat source or direct sunlight. Do not perform the test adjacent to centrifuge or any instrument that causes vibration. Failure to read the test at exactly one hour will lead to erroneous results. Always check the highest graduation on the tube. This will give you the linearity of the test. If interlap comparisons are used as a method for proficiency testing, confirm that the other lab also performs tests with tubes of the same graduations.